Saudi Arabia definitely hit the jackpot thanks to the riches that stream from a certain black liquid that's native to their land. And that's oil. This so-called liquid gold allowed the Great Kingdom to flourish. But aside from the ever-valuable petrol that lies underground, there are other dark secrets hiding above the surface, but behind closed doors. From economic disparities to questionable human rights practices, we're going to exploit Saudi's darkest secrets as much as they have exploited oil that turned them into an economic powerhouse. Saudi Arabia, located in the Arabian Peninsula, is a fascinating blend of rich culture, boundless wealth, profound religion, stunning landscapes, and a thriving economy. Saudi indeed has a lot to offer to the global population, it seems to know that well. In fact, just in 2020, they released a new tourism slogan that says, Hello world! The country's abundant oil reserves have enabled it to become a major player in the global energy market, enabling ambitious infrastructure that redefines grandeur. As a matter of fact, in recent news, Saudi Arabia revealed plans to build the world's largest inner city building in its capital city, Riyadh. The towering skyscrapers seemingly tell the world how they are reaching for the skies thanks to the treasures down below. Beyond the urban centers lies the breathtaking views of the Arabian desert, majestic mountains, and pristine shores. Evolving and diversifying its economy, Saudi Arabia embraces technology, entertainment, and tourism, spearheading visionary initiatives like the NEON project. This marvelous country indeed has a lot to offer, but like any other thing lux, it comes with a hefty price. Unveiling Saudi's first dark secret is their resource curse. In technical terms, the resource curse, or paradox of plenty, involves countries with abundant natural resources, but their governments are not adequately serving their citizens equally. When countries discover natural resources, you might expect better development outcomes. But resource-rich countries tend to have higher levels of conflict, authoritarianism, and higher disparity of socio-economic status among their citizens. To say it simply, there is this concept that says resource-rich nations have a higher tendency to F things up. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves in its land. This advantage is great to look at on surface level because it secures its spot as a global exporter. However, on the flip side of the coin, being entirely dependent on the oil industry alone can be seen as a curse, especially now that the world is trying to find cleaner and more sustainable forms of natural energy. Electric vehicles and solar power could be a huge headache to the oil industry in the upcoming years. It might not be now, but sooner or later, fossil fuel will eventually become a thing of the past. Saudi Arabia's economy, governance, and society rely heavily on petroleum. It was said that they were sitting on top of an ocean of oil, which conveniently was easy to mine too. This is exactly why their economy skyrocketed. In the US, it takes approximately $25 to get a barrel of oil from the ground. But in Saudi, it just takes around $10. Low operation cost, an abundance in supply, and a global demand. This over-reliance on oil without fixing systems from within might just be the kingdom's downfall. Fuel makes a lot of things work, but fuel also burns. Despite Saudi's bad reputation for oil consumption, Saudi Arabia is working on a multi-dimensional approach to reducing emissions. They are looking to find a way to have zero net emissions by 2060. It's already established that burning fossil fuels is harmful to the environment, but this issue is especially big in Saudi Arabia, as they are one of the biggest producers and arguably users of it after all. According to the graph, Saudi Arabia emitted 586.4 million metric tons of carbon dioxide in 2021 from fossil fuel use and industrial activities. With approximately 19 metric tons of CO2 emissions per person, Saudi Arabia is one of the largest producers of CO2 emissions worldwide. And with this, it is undeniable how much they contribute to global climate issues. Oil has proven to be key to wealth, but also has proven to cause economic disparity and dependency. When we look at the House of Saud, or the ruling royal family in the country, they are the richest family in the world, with a mind-blowing net worth of approximately $1.4 trillion. 
However, on the opposite side of the spectrum lies a damning statistic. 20% of Saudi Arabia still lives in poverty. This gargantuan gap shows a huge problem of income inequality. Aside from economic disparity, there are a lot more inequalities happening within. This puts the country at risk of a breakdown in social cohesion. A report even called it a ticking time bomb. The disparity between the rich and poor is not even being concealed and has resulted in mass protests by Saudi citizens calling out the issue. To add the cherry on top of this economic disparity, Saudi scored a 7 out of 100 in a 2022 freedom scale, which weighs political rights and civil liberties. It is ironic how one of the richest countries in the world could also have one of the highest poverty rates, with 13% of nationals experiencing poverty. So, not only does the country have to learn how to manage its finances well, it also has to tend to the needs of the people, something Saudi does not do well. These issues, if swept under the rug, can definitely lead to the potential collapse of an empire. If you think economic disparity is bad, the next dark side of Saudi is their damning accusations of human rights violations. This includes women's rights, children's rights, and workers' rights. Though, unlike oil, these plentiful violations do not look good on paper, and the international community is well aware of the situation. When it comes to human rights violations, some examples are not enough, as there is an entire list of all the accusations Saudi has done in the past few years. Using torture as a punishment, increased executions, no freedom of speech, disallowing protests, discrimination against women, torture in police custody, unreasonable detainment and arrest, and the list goes on and on. In recent events, Saudi basically was trying to diversify its assets towards investing heavily in sports. But this move was not met well by the human rights watchdog. They claimed that Saudi Arabia was attempting to sports wash its record of human rights violations. As for women's rights, Saudi Arabia has a reputation for being a conservative country, so much so that this vulnerable population of women is suffering the most. Sure, tradition is important, but with the advancement of women's rights, Saudi has only just begun becoming more and more lenient in their policy. Saudi women are not allowed to do a lot of things by themselves, and probably one of the most extreme cases is the enforcement of a repressive guardianship system, which requires women to always be accompanied by their husbands. Saudi's dual nature of oil wealth or resource abundance is both a blessing and a curse. It can be likened to a double-edged sword, wherein Saudi Arabia's abundant resources serve as a strategic advantage. However, the dark side of Saudi Arabia is concerning, and while they are rich in wealth, they are poor in other parts of their country.